All right, guys. I think I think I'm starting to come to a realization here that um, uh, voltage. Um, how, I'm just trying to think how the best way to say this. Um, it's water. I've proven that you don't need water, which this is. This is distilled water. You don't need water to get a voltage. And this is what this cell proves. This is a pressure cell. I put salt substitute in the carpet tube. And I got magnesium at the end. And I crush the tube, as you can see, it's thin, and I'm getting purely voltage. Uh, I might get like a, a micro amp out of it, but really, it's nothing. There's no amps to it, so I'm getting purely voltage, and 1.2, 1.1, 1 volt from this. And I prove that you don't need water. There's no water in here. Now, since there's no amps, I can't do anything with it. So John Bedini actually replicated this cell and you know, added water to it, which is fine. And you can see he also proved that you can crush the cell and you get purely voltage. But the cell is useless until you have amps. So to get amps, he added water to it. So we can draw the conclusion that once you add water or add water to a cell, you can get amps. So I showed the pressure cell you can get purely voltage without water, which is great, but it's useless without amps. And you add water to it and you get amps. So we're drawing the conclusion that when you add water, you're getting amps. And now we're starting to think that water is necessary for amps. But no, it's not. Water is not necessary for production of amps at all. Water is not really viable. It's not, it's not, it's not necessary. And this is what this video is about to prove. Um, what I have here is distilled water. I can put my copper electrode in there and it's just still distilled water right there, just a little bit. And I'll take my magnesium electrode and I got the volt scale and if I put it in there, you know, I get 1.56, 1. yeah, you know, right there. It's on the 2 volt scale. So that's nothing new. Volts is nothing new. It's not what I'm trying to demonstrate here. I'm just showing that there's no trickery involved, but I have it set on the microamps. That's 2000 microamps scale. And I want to show you guys that distilled water, which is purified water, there's no impurities, it's not tap water, it's just regular old water, and watch what happens when I put my electrode into it. What, 19, 18, 16 microamps, people. This is important. I know some people say, oh, you'll stop listening to me right now because I didn't show you millivolts or milliamps or whatever. What was important that you saw a small amount of microamps from distilled water. So we came to, we all been coming to the conclusion that it's water is necessary for amps. But what this test shows you is it's not the water that's giving you the amps. It's not, it, water is giving you low amps. If you just use pure distilled water, you'll get low amps. See, what's key is water plus something else. So when you start adding the something else, which is most case, Epsom salt, we can get a jump in amp production. Look at we shoot up to 800 microamps. So it's not the water. And what this shows is that we can make a cell that doesn't really necessarily need water. Um, but yeah. It, it, it's water plus something else is the generalization that I'm coming to right now of the, of the matter. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm trying to explain it the best way I can. So what I showed is that it's not the water necessarily that gives you the amps. It's the water plus something else that gives you the amps. So we can figure out or we can hone into that something else. We can use that something else combined with the pressure cell idea to get a cell that never needs water and all you gotta do to activate it is crush the cell and you start getting power which is inversely proportional to or proportional to the pressure you apply to the cell and the, the that something else added to it to the amount of that in it if that makes any sense at all yeah um <laughs> I'm probably confused a lot more people but what you saw at the beginning of the video was that using pure water, distilled water, I got 17, 16 microamps, which was barely nothing. 
So adding water to pure water to something like a cell is not going to activate it. And I know that in the videos that John showed you and everybody else showed you when they add water, the cell does jump up. And, and they are adding distilled water most of the time. But that distilled water is combining with the other salts to create the that something else that what really tricks the cell into producing more power or more amps. Um, but yeah, I do believe that we could make a cell that it just doesn't have necessary water in it. And I know that some of the crystals do contain a water molecule locked up in the lattice, but that's that's another story all to itself. But yeah, this is just a simple video showing that it's not the water that really gives you the amp power, it's really the something else. We just gotta figure out what that something else is. So yeah.